And we are following breaking news tonight out of Louisiana, where a plane crashed after taking off for Atlanta, killing five people, sending several others to the hospital, including people who were on the ground. We've also learned tonight one of the people killed is a young sports reporter married to a coach's son and on her way to watch the LSU game at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which is happening as we speak. Chenu Her has been following this since the story broke on the 11 Alive app. He is in the newsroom tonight with what we know. Chenu? Well, Ryan, according to the Associated Press, that reporter is Carly McCord. She's the daughter-in-law of LSU's offensive coordinator, Steve Ensminger. Now, McCord was a member of the sports team at New Orleans NBC affiliate WDSU. The station's president and general manager says in a statement they're devastated over her death. Now, NBC News reports the eight-passenger plane struck a car when it crashed this morning. Both the plane and a vehicle on the ground caught fire. Now, we told you five passengers on the plane died. A sixth person, a 37 year old man, was taken to the hospital and is in critical condition, according to police. Now, three people on the ground were also taken to the hospital, one of them also with severe burns. WVLA TV reports that the plane was headed to DeKalb Peachtree Airport for the Peach Bowl. Here's Lafayette Fire Chief Robert Benoit at the site of the crash. It's a sad thing, it's a tragic now the FAA and NTSB are on their way to the crash site. The FAA says right now the plane crashed due to unknown circumstances. But keep in mind this is all very preliminary information and the FAA says it's subject to change as they continue to investigate. Yeah, terrible story. Thank you, Chanu. All right, we have team coverage on this tonight. We're joined with 11 Alive sports reporter Maria Martin. Now, Maria, you've covered the SEC for a long time, so you knew Carly McCord. Yeah, Ryan, I did. Carly McCord was a name that many SEC fans will, of course, recognize. A Baton Rouge native, she attended LSU and was very involved in Louisiana sports. She worked with many jobs in this industry, most recently being a very important staple in New Orleans sports coverage for the NBC affiliate in New Orleans, WDSU. Not only was she incredibly talented, she was also immensely kind to all of us who came in contact with her. She's the daughter-in-law of LSU offensive coordinator St Steve Ensminger and was on the way to the Peach Bowl to see the Tigers play as we've discussed. Insminger right now is still coaching in the game and he was seen wiping his eyes in pregame as you saw from that video just then. All it takes is just a quick scroll through Twitter today to show you how loved Carly truly was. Former LSU kicker Cole Tracy tweeting that he is heartbroken and Carly was always one of his favorite reporters. There are memories of her kind nature and eccentric personality being displayed all over social media today. I've covered the SEC, as you mentioned, every single year of my career, and I promise you there hasn't been one person that I've spoken to today close to the conference that didn't know Carly, including one member of the New Orleans sports media, Doug Mooton. One of my colleagues described her by saying she was impossible not to like, and I think that's the best thing you could say about Carly. Always had a giant smile, always had something funny to say. Uh, one of the most one of the easiest people you could ever work next to, just a, a sweetheart in every way who will be greatly missed. That's very true. Now, even though this is the biggest game of the year for LSU, as you can imagine, it's incredibly difficult, one for the players, but especially offensive coordinator Steve Ensminger when dealing with his daughter-in-law's passing. When texting with one of her close friends today, she told me that Carly had the biggest TV family and was such a light in the state of Louisiana. Thank you for that, Maria. And we are still learning more information about this plane crash and with the people on board. Go to 11alive.com, download our 11alive app for all the latest updates on these developing news stories.